hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, today we shall discuss uh, Abu Dhabi's green list six new countries added to the quarantine free list in Abu Dhabi actually we are looking at uh, coronavirus guidelines in different countries of the world and today we are looking at Abu Dhabi green list where six new countries have been added to the quarantine free list the US Spain and Germany are among the latest destinations from where travelers can fly without isolation Abu Dhabi has updated its green list, which includes countries from where travelers can fly without having to quarantine in the UAE capital. Before new restrictions set to come into force on July 1st, that will remove COVID-19 quarantine restrictions for most international travelers, six new destinations have been added Meaning that travelers flying from the U.S. to Abu Dhabi will no longer also need to quarantine as the country has been added to the green list. The latest names on the green list include Azerbaijan, Germany, Chagistan, Moldova, Moldova, Spain and the US. It is the first time that Abu Dhabi Green List has been updated in almost a month. The last update was on Sunday, April 25. There are now 29 countries and destinations on the list from where travelers can fly to the UAE without the need to self-isolate, meaning that passengers arriving from this destination need only to undergo the PCR testing on arrival at Abu Dhabi Airport. Anyone visiting from a country not on the green list must quarantine as part of Abu Dhabi's COVID-19 regulations. However, for vaccinated travelers, they will need to quarantine for five days, while other travelers must self-isolate for 10 days. I think this is very clear guys that didn't know what was happening we look at the green list we are looking at countries that will freely move and they will not need to quarantine anyway for the earth. and this is being done by almost all countries in the world now that try to update their database regarding which country can come into uh, regarding which citizens or which uh, travelers can come into their country and do not need to quarantine for safety, for the healthy sector safety, economy, and also uh, for tourism uh, at, at large. So we are going to look at the 29 destinations on Abu Dhabi's green list. Spain is one of the latest destinations to be added to the Abu Dhabi green list. Look at Australia, we look at Azerbaijan, we look at Bhutan, Bahrain, China, Cuba, Germany, Greenland, Hong Kong, Iceland, Israel, Japan, 
Turkestan, Mauritius, Moldova, Morocco, New Zealand, Portugal, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, Spain, Switzerland, Taiwan, Tajikistan, United Kingdom, United States of America, Uzbekistan. So those are the 29 countries on Abdabi's green list. So those countries, citizens or travelers from those countries can travel freely to Abdabi without selling, without having to quarantine. Only they need to have is what we call a testing, which is a negative COVID, a PCR COVID test, which is also done on arrival at the Abdabi airports. I think that is a very good news. Yeah, very good news. But remember that the question also comes in, yeah, that not all countries on Abdabi list are open for tourism. However, travelers should check individual destination requirements for the most recent regulations. The US is open for travel for people coming from several destinations, including the UAE. All However, all passengers aged 2 and above need a negative pre-departure test result or documentation of recovery from COVID-19 before flying. The CDC says that tourists should quarantine for at least 7 days after arriving in the US. But the states and territories have their own quarantine requirements. Remember, we talked about the CDC after the CDC, that is the Center for Disease Control, approved the use of the Pfizer vaccine on kids between the, the ages of 12 to 5 years. For those that guys that watch the video, uh, you can also find the video in the link below. And when you look at Chagastan, is also open to travelers with a negative PCR test taken more than 72 hours before arriving in the country. Visa and arrival services are not currently operating and tourists who require a visa must apply for this online before traveling. Moldova has been added to the Abdabi Green List and is accepting travelers from the US so from the UAE Tourists are allowed to fly to Moldova from the UAE. Travelers with a negative test result obtain within 72 hours before time of departure will avoid any quarantine on arrival. Remember, until Tuesday, June 1st, only citizens and residents of Azerbaijan and fly to the country unless travelers have a pre-arranged approval. Spain is also off the limits to UAE travelers for the moment, but will open to all vaccinated tourists with no quarantine periods from Friday, June 4th, according to the sources. People hoping to visit German from the UAE should be aware that the country has been designated as a risk area since April. That means that anyone traveling to Germany must generally quarantine for 10 days upon arrival. The country is also under lockdown measures and travel for leisure purposes is not recommended. Other countries on the list accepting travelers are Russia, with citizens and residents of the UAE, 
permitted entry with a mandatory PCR test. The same applies for Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Remember, I talked about the mandatory PCR test for travelers to different countries. You can also check my video in the link below. Check in one of my videos, I'll give the link below. You can try to see what a mandatory PCR test means. However, on the other hand, Iceland is accepting vaccinated travelers. Iceland and Morocco are also open to those traveling from the UAE, although only the latter is accepting the unvaccinated visitors. The, UA, the UK is closed for visitors from the UAE as it remains on the government list. Only British and Irish citizens and anyone with the UK residence flights will be admitted to the country and they must enter a mandatory hotel quarantine for 10 days. In England, this costs around 17550 pounds which is an equivalent of $240-$30 per passenger, which covers transport, food, accommodation, security, testing, and tourists are prohibited in Japan. While in Chuba, visitors can enter the country with negative PCR test, but must go into quarantine at their own cost until taking a second PCR test on a day five of their stay. Visitors to Portugal are restricted to essential travel only, with entry granted only to EU citizens. Third country citizens with the residence rights in an EU country and those traveling for study, farmers, family, health and humanitarian reasons. However, the tourism, a heavy country, has said it hopes to open up to travelers this summer. Traveling to Switzerland have to provide negative PCR test result and visitors from certain countries have to go into mandatory quarantine for 10 days. The UAE is not currently on the list of the countries required to quarantine. Visitors from Taiwan must go into quarantine for 14 days upon arrival. The UAE has also established a travel corridor with four countries in May, meaning that the vaccinated travelers flying between UAE and Serbia, Greece, Bahrain, Seychelles do not need to quarantine, irrespective of whether the destinations are Abu Dhabi's green list. So guys, that is exactly what is happening in Abu Dhabi. Hope I try to give out a clear, a clear image of the green list, their travel restrict, their travel requirements, and uh, the consideration by each given country. However, all that we have to note is that take your PCR test as very important to whatever destination you have to go to. And remember, the PCR test should only be taken from the recognized testing centers or the approved 
testing centers as per the UAE or as per Dubai's requirement. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you. Hope for any comment, please you can put in the subsection below. I will be able, I'll be more than happy to get back to you.